This is a video on the VHSC exam that happened in Kerala recently. I'm going to discuss the answer key. The answer key officially has come and people are all worried about the wrong questions. We had a lot of trouble finding out the correct answers. You know why? Because there is a lot of ambiguity in some of the answers. But finally, we found that there are only two questions that are clearly wrong. The, those are questions number 50 and 54. But for the benefit of everybody, let us go over all the questions and answers. Which one among the following images is not used to compare the lovers in the poem, The Canonization? The Canonization is a poem by John Donne. There is the image of the flies. The lovers are like flies. They are like tapers or candles. They are like phoenix, but pair of compasses comes in valediction, forbidding morning. Two Indian rivers are mentioned in book 9 of Paradise Lost. Which are they? It is the Ganges and the Indus. Book 9 of Paradise Lost is a very important book. People should read the original text. That is what the question paper setters mean. In every exam, there will be questions like this to check whether you have read it. Who is identified by the first uh, scholar as the most beautiful woman in the world in Dr. Faustus. It is Helen of Troy and Dr. Faustus also brings Helen of Troy, the apparition of Helen of Troy in front of him. Reading maketh a full man, conference a ready man, writing an exact man, line from of studies. What is Hamlet's plan to catch the conscience of King Claudius? In order to touch the Conscience of King Claudius, Hamlet decides to stage a play and he calls it the mouse trap. But the actual name of the play is the murder of Gonzago. Who is desperate for a skillful sailor in the ballad of Sir Patrick Spence? It is King of Scotland who sends the sailors. He wants a skillful sailor and they're all going in search of uh, some uh, victory and finally they all die. Which among the following events is mentioned into his coy mistress? The conversion of Jews is mentioned into his coy mistress. It is one of the hyperboles in Marvels to his coy mistress. Please read the poem, guys. What sort of feeling develops in Peter Teasel after he marries a young girl in the play, The School for Scandal? He marries a young girl from the countryside thinking she will be very quiet and modest but he doubts the wisdom of his act later because she turns out to be interested in material culture and she gets involved with snobs, etc. Question number nine, to whom does the poet dedicate his nuptial song towards the end of Epithalamian? It is a poem dedicated to his bride, Elizabeth Boyle, and it is to his bride that he dedicates his nuptial song. Robinson Crusoe shows a racial double standard to Zuri, the slave boy. Remember, Robinson Crusoe and Zuri escape together and Robinson Crusoe sells Zuri. He sells him to a Portuguese captain. That is something very colonial that he did, even though Robinson Crusoe himself was a slave. What inclination of the damsel is expressed through her song in the poem Kubla Khan? It is clearly stated in the poem that she sings of Mount Abora, her love for Mount Abora. If you read the poem, many of these questions can easily be answered. In Ode to the West Wind, the poet likes to possess the attributes of the West Wind. What are they? Tameless, swift and proud. Oh, thou West Wind, tameless, swift, uh, swift and proud. I want to be like you. This is the uh, statement that he makes, isn't it? How did the father of the prisoner of Shillon die? Remember the prisoner of Shillon, his brothers, his father, they were all uh, patriots and his father was burnt at stake for his beliefs. Charles Lamb's brother John was different from other children. How was he different? He mounted the most mettlesome horse. That is what Charles Lamb uh, says. He talks about his childhood and uh, talks about the growing up and his own brother. What is the significance of the character of Bunbury in importance of being earnest? It is Algernon's imaginary friend. Algernon is Bunburying. 
uh, he is saying that he is telling everybody that there is a friend called Bunbury. He is always ill, and Algernon goes to the countryside to take care of Bunbury. William Wordsworth quotes Thomas Gray in preface to the Lyrical Ballads to establish an argument. What is his argument? The argument is that language of prose and poetry are the same. Again, this is not a deep question. If you just read preface to the Lyrical Ballads, you can easily answer this one. Count Chenchi's daughter Beatrice grabs the dagger from the killers. What is her intention? Obviously, to execute her cruel father. This is uh, the most important theme in that play, as you know. Arrange the following novels of Thomas Hardy in the correct order of their publication. Far From the Madding Crowd is said to be the first Wessex novel. Then Return of the Native, Tess of the Durbervilles. Last work is Jude the Obscure. Because Tess of the Durbervilles and Jude the Obscure were so controversial, Hardy stopped writing novels and turned to poetry. All right. If you read the encyclopedia, the, such kind of questions can be easily answered. What is the reason for Catherine Earnshaw's rejection of Heathcliff and a subsequent marriage to Edgar Linton? She does not want to marry below her station. She wants uh, to marry uh, of a higher social class. That's why. Where is Sir Thomas's plantations located in Antigua? This is in Mansfield Park. And Sir Thomas returns from his plantations in Antigua and uh, Fanny Price questions him about slavery. Remember, Edward Say talked about it in culture and imperialism. In the poem, The Second Coming, a strange beast makes its appearance in the desert. It is a sphinx. It has a lion's body and the head of a man. Sphinx. The last section of the wasteland alludes to the figure, figure of Prajapati, which Upanishad refers to Prajapati. It is Brihadaranyaka Upanishad. That is also easy and famous. Yeah. In the poem, In Memory of W.B. Yeats, Auden remarks that W.B. Yeats was hurt into poetry by Mad Ireland. It's a very famous line. Mad Ireland hurt you into poetry. Again, you are just intended to read the poem. You will be able to answer. The speaker in the poem Daddy calls the daddy figure a man in black with a dash look. That is again a very basic question, textual question that comes from the poem directly. A man in black with a main calm look. Main calm is the autobiography of um, Hitler and he she is comparing daddy to Hitler here very famous holocaust poem this is okay the next question the visitor to the church in the poem church going recites a verse from the bible which verse did he read in church going he reads here and death. That is also textual poem. If you only read the poem, you will be able to answer majority of these questions. What is the proposition? These are all very silly, uh, not, not even in-depth questions. They're just basic, you know, questions. What is the proposition of the fourth tempter to Thomas Beckett? That is a very famous uh, part of this play, Murder in the Cathedral. Uh, he is asking him whether you want to be a martyr and that is where Th Ma Thomas Beckett is tempted. In Harold Pinter's play The Birthday Party, Lulu tells Stanley, you are a bit of a washout, aren't you? What does she mean by that? Washout means lethargic character. She, he is not a very, uh, you know, a a energetic character. That is the meaning. That is an English language question. How does Joyce present the alienation of Stephen Daedalus in the playground? He did not participate in the football game. This could have been a little difficult because you have to read the play, sorry, read the uh, text in detail. A play by, of the, sorry, uh, portrait of the artist as a young man. The second chapter of the French Lieutenant's Woman uses a quotation which states that there were more women than men during the Victorian period. Uh, again, if you read the text, you will understand marriage was an appropriate goal for women. Uh, the countess in Nights at the Circus gave up her sleep altogether to do what? Look at her prisoners till they die. These are all uh, easy questions if only you read the text. We have also made very, very detailed uh, videos, etc. on many of these texts. I hope everybody got these right. What does Rabindranath Tagore personify in poem 5 of Gitanjali, Summer Season? Uh, there were 20 poems prescribed, Gitanjali. Which line from my grandmother's house expresses Kamala Das's desire for love? 
you, this should actually be called a comprehension test. <laughs> I who have lost my way and beg now at strangers' doors to receive love, at least in small change. L is missing. <laughs> Kamla Das's desire for love. A.K. Ramanujan refers to a crisis in poem, a river, a crisis in poetry. How does he represent that? The new poets still quote the old poets, he says. How does Rani prove her innocence in Nagamandla? By pulling out a cobra and taking an oath. Actually, this is ambiguous. It is not pulling out a cobra, but I don't know if you can contest it. Uh, what is the main reason for Amrit Lal Parekh's resistance to his son's dancing? in dance like a man he couldn't tolerate his son wearing gaudy costumes and growing hair because it was uh, a gender issue here isn't it right when there is a woman on the dock the case does have a different complexion that is my experience what is the context of this reference from the play silence the code is in session again a question you can answer if you read the play Sukhatme muses on the possibility of accusing Benare. How did the missionary pick Baka's curiosity about Yesu Messiha? By referring to Jesus' sacrifice for Brahmins and Bhangis alike. That is also very easy and very famous from Untouchable. Oh, the moral of the story, guys, the question paper setters want to defeat the coaching centers. They want people to read the text. Even if you don't have deep understanding, no problem, just read the text. <laughs> Which act of Mary Pereira is seen by herself as a private revolutionary act? That is also very easy. The central incident in Midnight's Children, switching the babies of Vanita and Amina. In God of Small Things, Baby Kochama compares Sophie Mole to Ariel from Shakespeare's The Tempest. What is her intention in doing so? To show off her mastery over Shakespeare's works. Why? Because baby Kochima has Western education. What is the significance of Anubhava in Rasa theory? Psychophysical manifestation of a particular emotion. The Tom Tom beat of the Emperor Jones is an expressionist device to show the pulse rate of the protagonist because it is 72 beats per minute. It's the same as heartbeat. And it is increasing throughout the play. The theme of death of a salesman. The American dream gone sour due to materialism and consumerism. This, this is like a uh, you know, school level test actually. Uh, maybe because you are supposed to teach uh, you know, higher, vocational high secondary children. I don't know why this is very simple and it is based on just reading. The symbolic significance of the letter A. A means adulteress, A means angel. Uh, she is artistic. Well, I don't, uh, you know, angel and adulteress are clearly, clearly mentioned there. You can say all of these. Pecola is the protagonist of the bluest eye. That's so silly. Whom is the speaker mourning in the raven? It is Lenore. Indo-European. Was a heavily inflected language by Eng but English has lost many of its inflections. Actually, I thought it must be none of these. But when they said the answer is change in stress, uh, I Google searched and inflection originally was based on some changes in stress. It could be, I think. So I myself did not know this answer, but it looks like B can be the right answer. And that's what they gave. Grimm's law and Werner's law explained the shifting of consonants. That's easy. The script of Old English was runic. Uh, well, if you have studied only, you'll be able to understand this. But this for people who study history of language, it's easy. The discrepancy between spelling and pronunciation. Now, there is some uh, confusion here. It can be great vowel shift and 15th century printing. But... Uh, great vowel shift is only about vowels. More general is 15th century printing. Maybe that is why they say this is the answer. And I don't think you can contest it. Because they will be able to prove that this is right. Now 50. Which statement is true? Obviously this question is wrong. All are voiced. What, we, what do you mean all are voiced? Maybe they meant all vowels are voiced or something. But uh, the answer is... 
uh, not correct. All our voice cannot be right. Some vowels and some con consonants are voiced obviously. That has to be the answer. I think you can contest it. The level, the sound L is a dash sound. It's lateral. A fricative is articulated with stricture of close approximation. Please read about all these terms, future students. The most prominent syllable in the word photo uh, photographic. They are asking about stress. Photographic memory. Gra. The weak vowel in English is, this is wrong. A and E are the weak vowels. A uh and E, sorry. A uh and E are the weak vowels. I think you can contest this. Which of the following is a syllabic consonant? N. Which intonation do we use for yes, no questions? Yes or no questions? Did you understand? Rising. Which of the following is an example of zero allomorph? Sheep. Sheep, sheep. Same word for singular plural. Right? The proponent of PS grammar is Chomsky. All languages have same laws. This is an example of logical fallacy. That is also correct. Uh, chapter 14 of Biographia Literaria discusses view on nature and functions of poetry. Correct. Eh? Uh, Peripetia means reversal of fortune. Easy. Judith Shakespeare is an example of a highly intelligent woman who met a tragic fate in a patriarchal society. Correct. The figure of speech in the phrase aching joys is oxymoron. Opposites, correct? Which type of method does Fry endorse in archetypes of literature? It's both inductive and deductive, correct? There are many uh, websites, if you look online, that talk about it. Eliot uses the analogy of chemical reaction between oxygen, sulfur dioxide and platinum to explain the ideal poetic process. The ideal poetic process is impersonal. Uh, a central concept in deconstruction to signify play on meanings is difference. Difference is about play of meanings, correct? They try so much, but can't, they can't touch my inner mystery. It is Maya Angelou's Phenomenal Women. Uh, Laura Mulvey's idea of male gaze is based on scopophilia or voyeurism. All that is easy. The Laugh of the Medusa by Helene Sizu expounds the idea of feminine mode of writing. Whiteness in Moby Dick is a symbol of purity. That's also easy. One of the objectives in education is inculcating national integration among students. Which of the following are not hindrances of national integration? One of the objectives of education is inculcating national integration. Which of the following are not hindrances? Development of intercultural understanding. It's not a hindrance. Good. All India education policy is also supposed to be good. Now, which among the following is not a strategy to develop positive relations with students? Showing behavioral problems. We should not use this. Always reinforce students with high academic achievements. Do not do that. That is also very easy. What are the advantages of open book exam? Enhance retrieval skills of students. How to quickly retrieve information from books. Role play is a method of teaching which helps learners to explore their feelings. Attitude and communication skills when you role play other people. E-portfolio of students can be used for all of these. That means self-expression and organization, self-assessment by students, compiling their practical work. That's also correct. With reference to types of research, consider the following statements. It is all of the above. Applied research aims at finding a solution. For an immediate problem facing a society or an industrial or business organization. Okay. Immediate solution. Whereas fundamental research is mainly concerned with generalizations and with the formulation of a theory. Correct. Fundamental research is also known as basic research or pure research. Correct. One of the main characteristics of ex post facto research is that the researcher has no control over the variables. Correct. Now, 77. What is the correct expansion of ISS and international standard serial number? Correct. Which of the following is not a type of plagiarism? Copyscape. Haha. <laughs> Which reference to the citation style? With reference to the citation style, consider the following statements. MLA, APA, Harvard and Chicago are some of the major systems of writing a bibliography. Very true. 
MLA refers to Modern Language Association and APS stands for American Psychological Association. It is not philosophical. Which of the following is not a non-probability sampling technique? Clustered sampling is not non-probability sampling. The preamble of the Indian Constitution was based on objective resolution by Jawaharlal Nehru. Which statements are true with regard to Article 14 of the Indian Constitution? 1, 2 and 3 are correct. Guarantee of equal protection applies against procedural laws. That is wrong. Now, 83, the first amendment to the constitution related to ninth schedule. With whom of, uh, with uh, whom among the, who among the following is returning officer for the election of president of India, secretary general of Lok Sabha. Which among the following pairs is not matching? Safeguarding forests and wildlife is article 46, not matching. Rest are true. In which case the Supreme Court of India identified right to information as a fundamental right. State of UP versus Raj Narain, 1975. Which among the following statements is true with regard to Child Marriage Restraint Act? 1929. The act prevents solemnization of child marriages. Even net students, please take a look at all these. Under the Sexual Harassment of Women at Workplace Act 2013, workplace means what? It means all the four. Any organization funded by the government, any private organization, any non-governmental organization, any dwelling place. Which among the following statements are true with regard to Transplantation of Human Organs Act? One, two and four. Brain death certification is exempted is not true. Which among the following is a condition to become chairperson of National Green Tribunal? 1 and 2. A person who is or has been a judge of the Supreme Court? Yes. A person who is or has been a Chief Justice of the High Court? Please consider the following statements about TK Madhavan. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Only 2 and 3 are correct. He attended the Kolkata Congress session. In 1921, he had an interview with Mahatma Gandhi in Tirunelveli. Only a few more questions. Consider the following statements about Herman Gundert. Which of the following is or are correct? Only one and three are correct. He compiled the Malayalam English Nikhandu. He published Rajya Samacharam. Consider the following statements about Swadesha Abhimani Ramakrishna Pillai. Uh, which of the following is or are correct? Only two and three. His well-known book is Vrittanda Patra Pravartanam. He wrote a biography of Karl Marx in Malayalam. Consider the following statements about Poigail Yohanan. Which of the following is or are correct? One and three are correct. He openly revolted against the evils of untouchability. The sermon Adi Dravida is the basis of PRDS. Which of the following statements about Pandara Patta Vilambaram is or are correct? Only three and four. It was hailed as the Magna Carta of Travancore riots. This is followed by the Royal Proclamation of 1867. Who is the present Reserve Bank of India governor? It is Shakti Kanta Das. Which Indian Navy sailing vessel successfully completed a transocean intercontinental voyage after 188 days? It is Tharini. Ta -da -dang. Consider the world's most active volcanoes of the country and the countries in which they are located. Ta -da -dang. One is four, Mount Vesuvius is Italy. Two is three, Sakurajima is Japan. Mount Merapi is Indonesia. Mount Nyarangongo is Republic of Congo. <laughs> Consider the following events in Indian freedom movement. Chronologically arrange. 2413, Nehru report came first. Jawaharlal Nehru hoist the tricolor came next. Gandhi Irwin Pact and Communal Award by Ramsey MacDonald. Please Google search and find out the years. Read extra. Who is the author of the book? A Brief History of Time. Ta -da -dang. That is very easy. Stephen Hawking. Okay, I hope you liked all the questions. Please contest questions 50 and 54. Thank you. Congratulations to everybody who got the questions right. Bye-bye.